In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove driver support one and a variety of other junky types of software. So uh, let's first click on your start button and start typing in the word control. And when you do that, you should get a control panel option here to open, click on that, and your control panel will come up. If you don't see this view here, where it says view by in the upper right hand corner, uh, select small icons from the drop-down list. Once you have this view, go to Programs and Features, and click on that, and uh, let the list populate, and you should see a Driver Support 1 option here. So you're going to click on that, and you're going to click on Uninstall. Right? You click Yes to confirm that you want this thing to go, and We'll go ahead and uninstall it here by clicking the uninstall button. Now, um, this software may at times come bundled with other, you know, undesirable software, and there may be bits of it left over even after this install. So what we're going to do after this uh, uninstallation, you can see it disappeared from the list, so we can close control panel here. We're going to download, install, and run something called malware bytes. All right, so open up your favorite browser and um, you know do a search for malware bytes. I, I misspelled that, but there we go. It came up anyway. So what you want is the official malwarebytes.com website. All right. So make sure that whatever you click on, that that's the actual domain. All right, don't don't be tricked into going somewhere else and getting uh, a copy of it that's bundled with even more junk than you're trying to uh, get rid of. Right. So they do have a a free download. There is a paid uh, pro level to this, but uh, for the purposes of this video, the free one is fine. Right. So. Let's go ahead and oh, the file is down here in the lower left. So I'm going to click on open file. Oh, it jumped on me. There we go. We just got to wait. Here we go. Here's the installation running. And we want to allow this. Yes. Oh, here we go. Complete installation. May All right. Your computer may need to be restarted. Looks like I have two of these going. I must have double clicked. We just need the one. We'll say yes here and we'll click on install. We don't need the browser guard. We're just going to skip that step. Okay, we just want the basic software. Let's close the browser here to minimize distraction. So during the installation, you may find that you get this restart required notification. You're going to go ahead and, assuming you've closed off any open files, etc., saved any work that you've got, uh, go ahead and click OK for that, and your system will restart and the installation will continue. After restarting, if the Malwarebytes installation doesn't start up again on its own, then go back into your downloads folder or wherever you save the installation file and start it up again. And you should see a screen similar to this. And uh, assuming it's a personal computer, choose personal computer and go ahead and just click on the install button. Again, we don't want the browser guard, so we can skip that. And the, con the installation can continue. When installation is completed, you can go ahead and click on Get Started. And, uh, you know, depending on whether you want to buy into it right away or not, uh, of course, you can go ahead and hit Buy Now. But um, maybe later is the free option, right? It is a 14-day uh, trial of premium. You can click on Get Started. And if you'd prefer not to have the premium trial and you just want to continue on with the free version, click on the little gear icon in the upper right, go to account and click on deactivate. 
the license here and we can click on yes to revert and then see it'll switch from premium trial to malware bytes free in a moment here there we go see in the upper left hand corner okay now other things that we can click on here go to the security tab and select scan for rootkits under scan options i'm not sure why it, that's off by default but if there's rootkits on your machine it's nice to know and have them removed and um, because it's uh, the free version and it doesn't run in the background with scans we can go ahead and unselect windows startup there click the x in the upper right hand corner and then click on scan and what this will do it'll start a scan of your whole computer for any kind of junkware virus trojan unwanted malware stuff that we don't need and it does a really good cleanup better in my experience than uh, norton mcafee avg etc can often do often they find a virus and can't clean it whereas malware bytes can find and kill the same virus or they don't even see the virus or the trojan or whatever in malware bytes does and kills it right so i found it very effective uh, for cleaning stuff up uh, it's a great adjunct to any antivirus that you already use right uh, some antiviruses it's not compatible with in terms of they'll kind of fight over the same real estate as it were so um, if your current antivirus complains about you trying to install it uh, you may want to hold off on that but uh, it does work in conjunction with many of them and uh, and i do recommend you using it uh, in its free version as a as a secondary scan or in its paid version as your primary antivirus right so uh, let it let's have this do the full scan here i'm not sure if it'll find anything on this machine but uh, if it does, I'll show you what to do with the results. So in this case, uh, nothing was found. So uh, we can just click done. But if uh, items had been found, you would see a list of those and you'd have the option to quarantine them, at which point you may be asked to restart your machine, right? But uh, this is great. This is a good indication that uh, you know all traces of what we were removing uh, are gone and uh, we can proceed you know computing with confidence